Hey YouTube, it's Penny. Um, so I just recorded a, a video where I talked about a, a verse um, in Isaiah about good and evil. And um, I wanted to bring you this kind of as a, a part two um, to that video in a sense. So on May 19th, I heard the words sea salt, bromine. So kind of like, like a comma in between the two. And I had the sense that I was supposed to compare and contrast sea salt and bromine and um, I wasn't even sure I'd ever heard of bromine before. It turns out since I took chemistry in high school I, I indeed have heard of it, have heard of it but I've forgotten what it was. Um, it was interesting. The scripture that the Lord gave me initially when I asked him, you know, what do we to look at here was Ecclesiastes chapter 12, uh, 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Elohim and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. For Elohim shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So there's that good and evil thing again. And so, um, so this is back on May 19th, so I've been, you know, mulling this one over for a while, and I've done a lot of research <laughs> into uh, sea salt and bromine. And uh, I think that really Hoppe is just, he's trying to show us some simple concepts here. So both of these things obviously are naturally occurring elements in the um, that, that come out of the seawater basically um, they're both used to purify um, so like there are salt water pools um, and then there are also you know pools that are cleaned with um, bromine or, or chlorine it's a, a form of that it bromine actually smells um, like chlorine or iodine and it's um, Kind of a red color and uh, it's very caustic to the skin but we also know that sea salt can be i mean if you've been to the dead sea um you know that um it'll burn your skin if you don't you know take a fresh water shower right afterward um so uh, as i looked at i mean bromine is uh can be used as a fire retardant but uh so can salt i mean and that's probably why because it's a Kind of like a form of salt. Um, it's used in all kinds of things, like you know, film photography development, um, oil drilling, well drilling fluids. Um, it's interesting because the the two countries in the world, the two leading countries for um, mining bromine, are the United States and Israel. Um, there's a expensive purple dye that was known initially in ancient civilizations that was produced from an organic bromine compound secreted from a sea muscle known as a murex um, and so that's why purple was became like known as this royal color because it was really expensive and difficult to extract um, and you know the, the lord may want me to be looking a little bit more into the whole the color purple thing but i I don't think so. I think it was really more about the fact that um, bromine is uh, one of the few elements that's liquid form on near room temperature, um, like mercury, which is interesting because that's something that Sister Anna saw recently was that mercury um, is a liquid at room temperature, and the Lord was showing her mercury. So um, I think really though, it, it's just a, a, it comes down to the fact that once again. Father is showing us that it's going to be difficult to distinguish between good and evil. It's going to get harder and harder. And even though both sea salt and bromine are naturally occurring elements, they both come from the sea, they're both used for purification. One you would use to season your food, the other you would not. It would poison you. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. If the Lord gives me further um, revelation on this, um, I'll let you know. Or if, if maybe he's going to give you something um, that uh, he wants to show us about this, um, be sure to post a comment. I mean, he did lead me to study a, a lot of scripture about salt and what good is salt if it's lost its saltiness and, and all of that. There's an awful lot in the Bible um, about salt. So, for example, Mark 9, 49 and 50. For everyone shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost 
the saltiness, wherefore will ye season it? Have salt in yourself, have peace with one another. So here's the shofar for you. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Barukata Adonai Eluhini Melech Ha'olam, blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the Universe. Amen.